life trying not to make the same mistakes my own man did. Then I find out it's good to finally know the truth though. Derek's death also helped me resolve another problem. like I just found Derek's retirement funds. Hey, Vito. We can take things from here. What about the cops? Yeah, they might be a problem. But anyone who saw us really did it in self-defense.
pursuit of a hit and run driver. Roger that. You're gonna kill somebody you keep driving that way. I'm gonna find you. Thank you, officer. Do yourself a favor, pal, and straighten up. Joe wasn't home. At first I thought he was just running a little late, so I went to grab something to eat. Two hours later, Joe still wasn't home. It was getting dark, and I was getting worried. I had to go look for him. Maybe Joe checked in with Eddie at the Falcon.
Vito! Good, you're here. You, uh, you hear what happened? Wow, what's going on? Henry's dead. What? The fucking chinks hacked him to death in broad daylight. W why So you don't know anything about it. Well, uh, Henry wanted to bring me in on some deal, but I, I passed. What happened? Yeah, well, Henry is, well, was stupid. He was dealing dope with the tongs. He knew this was off limits and he got caught. Carlo let him off with a small fine and told him he'd forget about it. But the chinks double-crossed Henry and hacked him to pieces in the middle of the park. Shit. Ain't no doing business with the yellow man. But there's worse. Henry wasn't working alone. Yesterday, some guys massacred a shitload of the chinks over in Chinatown. Now they figure it must have either been us or Vinci. They already started threatening Vinci. If this don't get settled fast, we're all in deep shit. You sure you don't know nothing about it? Not a thing, Eddie, I swear. Yeah? How about Joe? Joe? Joe was with me last couple days. Well, you're lucky then. Carlo's out of town right now, but when he gets back, <laughs> it ain't gonna be pretty. No shit. You better not be shitting me, Vito. Let's try Giuseppe next. He keeps his eating around. Hey, Giuseppe, I'm looking for Joe Barbaro. Was he here today? Ah, no, Vito. Yeah, Joe came by today. Great, I've been looking for him the whole day. Did he say where he was heading? Well, no, he didn't. I don't think he know himself. How come? Well, he was looking for a job, but before we managed to finish our conversation, a few guys came and took him away. What? Who? It was Vinci's people. They said Mr. Vinci wanted a word with him. You know where they would have went? No, lo so. Maybe to the bar, the Mona Lisa. Shit. Is there something wrong? Not sure. Let's just say we're not on the best of terms with Mr. Vinci these days. Yeah, Joe didn't look too happy. I got a bad feeling about this. I better go find out what's going on. I hope it's nothing serious. Buona fortuna, Vito. Good afternoon. Nice to see you. State bene, Vito.
freeze and maybe I won't kill you. Hiya, fellas. Look at the balls on this guy. Nice to see you too. Don't move a muscle. Come on, listen to the friendly bartender and stop fucking around, Vito. Now first of all, I gotta ask you to slowly toss your guns on the floor. No funny business neither. The bartender's got the itchiest trigger finger in town, huh? I'm not armed. Okay, so what are you doing here, Vito? We wasn't expecting you. I'm looking for Joe Barbaro. I heard some of your guys picked him up. Eh, yeah, maybe. What are you trying to pull? Me and Joe didn't do nothing to you. Mr. Vinci doesn't seem to think so. He wanted a few things explained to him, so that's what Joe is doing. And since you've stopped by, why don't we go and join them? And what if I don't want to? These guns say you do. But don't worry, it's got a hell of a view. Shit. Ah. Hey, what's up, Joe? The assholes went to take a leak. <sighs> Great. Well, can you explain to me why the fuck we're here? That old fuck Vinci can't see what's going on right in front of his face. And he thinks I can explain it to him. Idiot. Oh, the happy couple is here already. Welcome, Vito. What's going on? You got no reason to treat us like this. No reason? No reason? First, the business with Leo. And then all hell breaks out in the city. The chinks, they're going nuts. Everybody's fighting like lunatics. And now, those yellow bastards are threatening to kill me. It's out of fucking control. Now, I'm too old for this shit, so you're gonna tell me what the hell's going on here. Come on, I'm all ears. Mr. Vinci, look, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Believe me, me and Joe ain't got nothing to do with it. That ain't what I wanna hear. Yeah, well, that's your problem, because we don't know shit about any of this. That's too bad. Finally. We don't got much time. We gotta do something. All right. We'll try to break the pipe. Come on, help me out. I can't do it by myself. Okay. One, two, three! One, two, three! Again! One, two, three! Fuck you! You filthy fuck! Come on! Come on, you fuck! Fuck was that no shit that loop? <laughs> Fuck this. I'm out of here. Oh, Let me live, please! That asshole killed him! He 
Eat that, you asswipe! Go first. I'll cover you. Where the fuck you think you're going? Hey guys, Barbaro's escaping. Where the fuck? Like that, huh? Come on! Kill this fuck already, will you?
where to kill this fucking guy before we run out of work.
Vito, they fucked me up pretty good. I think I need a doctor. Okay, let's get you over to El Greco. chest every time I breathe. I think they broke my damn ribs. Take it easy. El Greco's gonna fix you up. Yeah. <coughs> sure. <coughs> uh, fuck. Every time I cough, it feels like I'm being stabbed in the chest. Just sit back. The more you whine about it, the worse it's gonna be. So listen, Vito. Uh, thanks for coming after me. That almost getting yourself killed. Hey, we're in this together, right? Just like always. Now just sit the fuck back before you get blood all over my pants and I really do stand in the chest. <coughs> oh, you picked a hell of a time to turn into a fucking comedian.
Uh, Need a hand? I can make it. What do you want me to do with the money? Take it to Bruno. All right. At least that'll be out of the way. Uh. Good evening, gentlemen. Oh, what happened to you? Hey, Doc. I got my ass kicked at... <coughs> I'm coughing up what blood. What is happening today? One of your uh, guys is already here. Uh, Who? His name is Antonio Balsamo. Tony Balls? What happened to him? Somebody messed him up pretty good. Uh, I don't think uh, he's ever going to oh, walk again. What? <laughs> this surprises you? All the blood. Uh, all the death. Oh, oh, this is the oh, lifestyle you choose. Uh, One day your luck is bound to run out. The next time, it could be you. And off with the sermon, Doc. You have time to treat Joe? Yes, but you'll have to wait a minute while I fix Antonio up. That's okay, Doc. All right, come in. Make sure you settle things with Bruno, okay? And Vito, thanks. Sure thing. Feel better. I need to see Bruno. Got the money? 
Yeah. Come on in then. You're lucky. We were just about to leave. Good evening. You have the money for me? Or do you wish to extend the deadline? Here it is. <laughs> I have to admit, this is somewhat of a surprise. I heard you boys had some... complications. Yeah, we did. I heard that Henry is dead. I'm very sorry to hear that. Isaac, count it. So your little business venture was a success? You got your money, right? Right, right. It's just that the whole city has been turned upside down. The Chinese think the Italians attacked them, so they're going after Vinci. That's not good. Not good. Would that have anything to do with the reason you borrowed this money? Sorry, Bruno. That's none of your business. Uh, thank you, Isaac. It looks like the debt is settled. I don't even know your name. Vito. Vito who? Vito Scaletta. Eh, Scaletta. I knew a Scaletta once. But I must say, you're much better at paying back your debts than he was. His poor wife had to do it for him. So it was you who lent my father the money. <laughs> your father. Ah, like father, like son. I see you don't approve. But I didn't make him borrow the money, now did I? Just like I didn't make you. If you ever need a loan, you know where to find me. <laughs> sure. I couldn't sleep. Things were bad. And they were only gonna get worse. The truth was gonna come out sooner or later. And then we were gonna have Falcone after us along with the Chinese and Vinci. This wasn't how I imagined it when we were starting out. I dreamed of money, cars, women, respect, freedom. I guess I ended up getting all that, more or less. But along with it came prison, living in constant fear, and the blood of my friends. I ducked it as long as I could, but it was finally catching up with me. It was all just a matter of time. Yeah, hello. Eddie. Uh, listen, I need you to... Let me guess. You need me to come by right away, and I should bring a gun. For once, I don't. <laughs> uh, Carla wants to see you over at the planetarium. Did he say what it was about? Nope. Uh, better head over there now, though. Uh, don't want to keep the man waiting. <laughs> yeah, see you, Vito. Mr. Scaletta, can you get in, please? Hey, old man. What are you doing back? Just get in the damn car. Now. And you are... This is our friend, Mr. Chu. All right, so what the hell's going on? What is this? This is about you. You fucked up good, didn't you? Started a fucking war. Got no idea what you're talking about. Don't fuck with me, boy. I've probably forgotten more about this business than you'll ever learn. Half our guys are dead, half of Mr. Chu's guys are dead, and now the feds are breathing down everybody's necks. Because of you. Leo, listen. You listen. If it wasn't for me, you would have already been taken care of. So you're gonna listen to what I have to say, and you're gonna listen good. What you did in Chinatown. That was because of that cocksucker Henry, right? You know who he was working for when he died? You mean when he was butchered? He was working for the feds. 
He was a fucking rat. And that's why Mr. Chu's people did what they did. And that's why the feds are going after Carlo now. But I don't forget my friends, Vito. You did for me, so I did for you. I called in a few favors. Got you one chance to make this right. Okay, I'm listening. You're gonna get rid of Carlo. It was all a favor. And if I refuse? You die. Frank and the rest of the commission want you dead. So does Mr. Chu. And to top it all off, you vouched for a rat. You think Carlo's gonna let that slide? You're a dead man walking. <sighs> when? Now. Every minute we wait is another minute we give to the feds. He's holed up at that observatory of his. You know something's up. Carlo Falcone is a lot of things, but stupid ain't one of them. All right. Stop the car. Remember, kid, this is your last chance. Get out of there!
Hey, fellas. Hey, Vito. The boss wants to see you. Good. I want to see him, too. One, uh, one thing, though, Vito. I gotta take your gun. Yeah, all right. Here you go.
Who it is. This is who they send? This is an insult. What'd they tell you, Vito? Take care of me and all's forgiven? You really think they're just gonna let you walk after everything you did? Then again, chumps like you never do think about the big picture. But your buddy Joe understands, don't you, Joe? What the fuck is this? I could ask you the same question. Loyalty's a funny thing, huh, Vito? No such thing as friendship in this business. Didn't your old pal Leo teach you that while you're sucking his cock back in the can? <laughs> you're just a fucking pawn, Vito. It's all you ever were. When are you gonna realize Joe, that? you just gotta trust me. You think I give a shit about the feds? All those tired old fucks on the commission? They're using you, Vito. Just like Clemente used you. Just like I used you. Just like that rat fuck Henry used you. You vouched for that piece of shit. Brought him into my house. And now, you dumb fuck, you're gonna pay for it. Now, Joe. Hey. If you're gonna pull that trigger, do it already. What are you waiting for? Vito. Let's shoot this cocksucker. Remember what we talked On about, three. Joe? You're gonna throw On all that away? Do it! Two. You dumb bastard, you don't stand a chance. You can't kill them all. You really are insane, aren't you? I'm gonna enjoy watching you die. Come on, already! There's only two of them! Oh, 
Oh, I kind of miss this. Reminds me of my prohibition days. I'm going in. You know something, Carlo? For the last ten years, all I'd done was kill. I killed for my country. I killed for my family. I killed anybody that got in my way. But this one... This one's for me. Fuck. Fucking prick. I sure as hell hope you know what you're doing here. Don't worry, I took care of it. You'll see. So, uh... What was he talking about back there? Nothing. He made me an offer. That's all. Yeah, I figured out that much. What kind of offer? He wanted me to whack it. Said he'd make me a capo. Give me my own crew. You know, pretty much everything I ever wanted. Yeah? So why the hell didn't you do it? Remember that five bucks you owe me? What the hell is this? It's all right, Joe. Is it done? It's done. All right, then. It looks like a celebration is in order. Come on. Let's head to the cat house. Sounds good to me. Come with me, Vito. There's more we need to talk about. All right, we'll see you over there. All right. So what's the big secret? Hey, 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 what the hell's going on? Where are they taking Joe? Sorry, kid. Joe wasn't part of our deal. 